do this to manifest anything. Nine things you absolutely must know to manifest your deepest desires, your dreams, the money you desire, the love you crave, and the health and happiness that you deserve and depend on. Follow these nine steps. It's easy. Hi everyone, Robert Zink, Miracle Mentor and Alchemy Life Coach. And today we are soaring high like a big, beautiful eagle. And we're flying in the direction of your dreams and your goals. Hi flyers. I want to say this to you. If you'll follow these nine steps, they're really not steps. They're, they're platforms. They're things that you must do in order to manifest what you deeply desire. It's how to make the law of attraction really work for you. So if you'll do that, you're going to find amazing results. Well, we have a huge library on the law of attraction and there's probably 300 different techniques or steps that you should take. But what I did is I distilled them down to the important nine. And if you'll do these nine, these are the ones I focus on. If you'll do them, you're going to start manifesting huge. I mean, big. So high flyers, number one is to set clear intentions of whatever it is that you desire to manifest. You need a clear picture in your mind, but you need to drill down. You need to drill down to the core of whatever it is that you desire gives you. So if it's a new boat, it gives you the freedom to be on the water. It gives you the freedom to fish wherever you desire to fish. If it's a speedboat, it gives you the freedom to go fast. So those are the qualities you're looking at. I recently bought a product that was fairly expensive and I won't tell you what the product was, but I was absolutely certain I did manifestation work for one particular brand. And when everything came together and I was ready to make it happen, I found a better brand. It tested better. It was a better price point. It had better features. And so I ended up with the other brand. Now think about this. If I would only have focused on that one brand, I wouldn't have discovered the something better. We'll get into that later, but that's the point. Drill down and find out exactly why you desire what you desire. What feeling does it give you? Remember Neville said it has to do with feelings. Feelings are the secret to manifesting, but you have to be clear. Your clear, concise intention. Well, number two is positive thoughts attract positive outcomes. So I don't believe that negative thinking is always bad. There are times when thinking negatively makes sense. When you're in danger, for example, your brain was designed to think negatively to protect you from getting hurt. But most of the negative thoughts you and I have deal with imaginary fears, fear of rejection, fear of being hurt, fear of failure. We're not, we're not fearing being eaten by a saber toothed tiger. We're fearing something that look, all human beings are going to go through in life. So when you have these imaginary fears, and they are what hold you back. And you begin to think negatively. You know, you th oh, well, I'm too old. I'm too dumb. I don't have enough training. I'm not smart enough. Whatever you use as your excuse for not doing what you really desire to do is a negative thought that doesn't need to exist. You can replace it right now. Say right now with a positive thought. Well, I alluded to this a few moments ago, high flyers this or something better. So when I focus on a particular object or something in my life, I always say this or something better, because guess what? The universe oftentimes gives you something better. Why not be open to something better?
I know people call me all the time. They go, Robert, I only want him. I know he's an alcoholic. I know he suffers from depression. I know he hasn't had a job in six months, but I only want him. I don't know why. I just want him. And they refuse to manifest with something better in mind. You know, you limit your potential. You limit your opportunities. One person said, I want to manifest $5,000. And I said, why not something better? Why not 5,000 or something better? And she ended up manifesting a million dollars through a scratcher. That's how it works. The universe says, okay, you're in alignment with great opportunity with great wealth, with great prosperity. You're ready for something better. Well, number four is daily affirmations and incantations to fortify your intentions. Every day, there's not a day that goes by that I do not do affirmations. Now, I will say to you that I do believe in cycling. So what I will do is I'll hit it very hard for five days with my affirmations. Then I'll cycle down and hit it very, very easily for about two days, maybe just during the shower in the morning. And that's about it. I like that cycling because that brings fresh energy to those affirmations and incantations. And we have plenty of videos on incantations if you don't know about them, but we probably should do more. Put simply high flyers an incantation is a direct command to your subconscious mind. And so you are calling on or invoking your subconscious mind to bring about a certain reality. That's what it is. Okay. And that's a little bit different than an affirmation. Number five is give more to receive more. Now I honestly wish, am I wishing? Yes, I am. I honestly wish that I had known this 30 years ago. I would have been giving like crazy. I mean, when you start giving away some of your time, when you start giving away some of your energy, when you start giving away some of your resources to help the lives of others, the law of reciprocity kicks in and bam, good things start coming your way. So give more to receive more. Well, high flyers, I am so grateful for so many things that if I just practiced this one thing, gratitude, I wouldn't have time for anything else. I literally could get up in the morning and spend the whole day focusing on gratitude and never repeat myself until I went to bed. You see, when you're living in a bubble, in a mindset, in an energy field of gratitude, negative thoughts don't have a way into your mind. You are living at a whole different dynamic. So daily gratitude, especially a gratitude journal is a huge key to success and manifesting what you deeply, deeply desire. Well, high flyers, number eight may sound a little crazy, uh, but you don't need to know how. You see, if you're going to build a bridge, you need to know how you're going to build this bridge. But when it comes to manifesting, you have a partner who has infinite resources, the universe. So you really don't need to know how it's going to happen. You may have an idea. You may give it a plan, but all of a sudden something else happens. And there it is. There it is right in front of your eyes right in front of your eyes. What you always wanted is there and you don't know how it happened. You may never know, but it happens that way. High flyers create micro goals. Every day when I get up, I have one of these around one of these little sticky note deals and I will write my micro goals on the sticky note for the day. And I'll start checking them off or crossing them off as I go through it. You need to have micro goals in order to get to the end. You see, 
while Neville Goddard is right when he says you focus on the wish fulfilled, you also need to take action every day, which is number nine, take inspired action. And so when you're taking inspired action and you're acting on these micro goals, all of a sudden you get up the next day and all that stuff was done. Now you create new things. You're literally walking up the ladder one rung at a time. Now, all of a sudden, sometimes something will happen and the universe will go boom. Did you see that across the screen? Boom. Anyway, when that happens, you'll skip like 10 rungs. But in the meantime, micro goals, one step at a time. How do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. Well, there you go, high flyers. Nine, 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 nine. Very powerful number. Nine important things that you need to do to manifest your dreams and goals and the life you absolutely deserve. And I believe you deserve it. Hey, be sure to subscribe. We're here all the time with new videos. We've got a whole bunch of new stuff coming up. So thank you so much. And you have a great day. You deserve it.